Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can configure PAM360 to perform a remote password resets. Uh, remote password reset is the uh, feature where you use PAM360 to be able to change the password of a particular account in a particular endpoint. Now it could be a local account of a Windows machine or a root account of a Linux machine or an SA account of an MSSQL instance. But regardless, first you need to register that endpoint as a resource inside PAM. And then you configure how you want your PAM360 application to talk to that endpoint. So um, you can refer to our previous video on how you can onboard your Windows machines from Active Directory. When you do that, you will have all of your Windows machines automatically registered along with their local account. So some machines might have two accounts, some might have 10 accounts, but regardless, PAM will automatically pull all the local accounts across all of the machines. So uh, for Windows machines, local account management, um, PAM will basically use the service account with which you are running it uh, for forcefully changing passwords. So it will work out of the box. For domain controllers, uh, you will automatically find um, service accounts listed here that were discovered during your import. So the first thing you need to do is add an administrative account inside your domain controller. Now, this could be uh, a, a dedicated service account created for PAM360 or some other existing account. But you need to have a right account with its right password stored inside domain controller. And then if you select the resource actions and go to configure remote password reset section, the tool will ask you with which account you would like PAM to communicate with your Active Directory to reset password. So in my case, I will just choose administrator and hit save and that's it. So I've defined the administrator account to be the account used for communicating with my domain controller. So in future, if I ever try to reset any account password, any other account password, PAM will be using the administrator account to log into Active Directory and then change the password of the other account, which you are trying to manage. Well, for Windows and domain controller, like I said, this is all is required. But what if you have a Linux machine? Then you can go to the resource actions icon next to the Linux machine and go to configure remote password reset section again. Here it will ask you for the protocol to use, port number to use, the login account. In most cases, the root login uh, from remote machines might be disabled. So you can perhaps log in as a guest user and then yes, you as root user to change passwords. Or you can use PKI based authentication where PAM360 would use a SSH key for logging in. Or you can even use sudo. If you are using a sudo privileged account here, then PAM will log in through SSH using port 22 with the guest account. And then it will simply use the sudo command when it runs the change password or performs the change password operation. So uh, to put it simple, for every resource, you can go to the resource actions and you can go to the configure remote password reset section, and it will allow you to configure how you want your PAM360 solution to talk to that device. Now, let's say you have 100 Linux servers. You can't be manually doing this one by one. In that case, you can just select all of your resources together and then go to resource actions and configure remote password reset. So in the left pane, you can see different type of endpoints you might have. And if you choose any one of them in the right pane, you will see the exact specific information being requested for. So if you want to manage a Cisco device, for example, then it is asking you which port, which protocol, how to log in, with which account you would like us to log in, whether the account name is required or can we directly supply a password? Will it take us directly to the, the greater than prompt? Or in some cases, if you're using a privileged account, you might be directly reaching the hash mode and then you don't need additional credentials. Or in some cases, you might have an enable account with an enable password. So in that case, you can supply the EM account with its password, configure the uh, final prompt. And this is how PAM is going to log in 
to your Cisco devices. If you have a MySQL database that you would like to manage, then you can specify the port and the root account with which you would like um, to communicate. So for every type of endpoint, you will be able to specify the exact set of remote login information. And this is what PAM360 uses to communicate with different type of endpoints you have within your own infrastructure. And this applies even for online accounts. So for example, you would like to manage AWS IAM accounts, you would be prompted to select the access key and secret key. If you are trying to manage uh, Microsoft Azure, just an administrator account is sufficient. If you're trying to manage Salesforce accounts, then you would be prompted for the specific client ID and the client secret with which we can communicate with your Salesforce instance. So uh, only if you configure this remote password reset section, PAM360 will get the ability to communicate with your endpoints and then you will be able to change passwords and validate passwords and not. 